Yeah, I, I feel like I'm already, you know, working the officials for freedom of movement. Uh, yeah, they're physical. Um, you yeah, know, they're, they're an older team. I, I, I think, I don't know if I read that they're, if there's, there's five, they're, they're, they've got an older team than like five NBA teams. You know, so you're, 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 or at least I saw that graphic during an NCAA game. I don't know, and one of the six I've watched since we were done playing last night. So, uh, yeah, I mean, they're, they're physical. They, they defend. Um, they play really, really hard. The good thing for us is um, we do that every single day. Like, we play, we practice really, really hard. Um, we come from a really, really hard playing league. So I think it's just going to come down to, you know, obviously uh, who outplays the other. Up front on the right side, Mike. Uh, Mike Anthony, Hearst, Connecticut. Hey, Dan. Um, you know, win or, win or lose tomorrow, the season will end, and then soon this group will disband. Uh, would you mind sharing what this group of players has meant to you personally and professionally? Yeah, um, you know, it's, it's a special, it's a special group. The uh, you, know, you make the recruiting pitch when you're when the program's down in, 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 this, in the place that we were, and you get in front of guys like this, and you know you, your your pitch is you're gonna you're gonna you know, bring this program back, you know, to its rightful place of playing March through April and, and bringing that excitement to back into a program. And uh, not everyone could deliver on that. And uh, bringing it all the way back, you know, like, and these guys have kind of brought this program all the way back, this collection, these two guys next to me, uh, you know, obviously Alex and Donovan and Adama and, you know, and then, uh, you know, our guys, the older guys we brought in that transferred in. So, you know, uh, we're so focused on just the San Diego State team and the preparation that I don't think that anyone is like. Uh, Left side of the room to the right of the aisle, Aaron. Thanks for cutting me off. I, I was, gonna, I was just going to start stumbling around like I shouldn't even answer that question because I. <laughs> I saw the opportunity. Thank you, brother. <laughs> you saved me. I went right for, I went right to the rim. What I was saying made no sense. It was incoherent anyway. I thought I'd bail you out. <laughs> Let's go to the right of the aisle, Aaron. Uh, Aaron Beard with the AP. This is for Dan. Uh, you mentioned earlier this week when you guys lost to New Mexico State last year, you, you talked about they had a little bit more offensive firepower. And I'm curious kind of how that affected your thinking of how to address this roster with the transfers you brought in on the perimeter in particular. And, Sort of how that the transfer portal sort of has changed the way you think about addressing needs within yeah. a, a roster that's coming back. Yeah. Well, the first thing I said, the first thing we did was I brought these two guys in with the Dama, like literally that Monday, and I said, uh, you know, you guys are both going to play like high-level NBA draft picks, uh, you know, like on the wing, and then we're going to have, you know, one of the best big guys in the country. So we've got our big three. Um, you know, then they knew what, what, what Alex was going to bring and what Donovan was going to bring. And, you know, I, I, I got clear to them that I was going to, um, you know, put a, a lot of really good, you know, supporting players around them that would put them in position to, to get to this stage. But I, I, I think that the number one thing I remember post New Mexico State was that meeting that the three of us had in the boardroom. Um, you know, we were very clear about where, what we were going to do this year. But it's only come together like this because these two guys are, you know, high-level NBA, you know, draft picks and you have long, successful careers at that level. And then, you know, Adama as well. I mean, Adama doesn't have the same draft buzz as maybe these guys have, but, you know, he's an NBA player and he's going to play in the league for a long time. So, you know, listen, this isn't that hard. I had three NBA players returning and, you know, we, we put the right pieces around them. Toward the back of the room, to the right of the aisle, by the red column. Hi, uh, Jake Fenner, Daily Mail. This is for Jordan. You mentioned yesterday that you weren't exactly 100% after your illness, but you mentioned that you were going to play because of that will and that desire to play. Has your condition improved since yesterday? Yes, sir. Um, I'll be 100% on Monday. The next question, we have one, que one more minute left, uh, probably less than a minute for our student athletes. Banta, is your question for them or for coach? Zach, do you have one for student athletes? Anybody for the student athletes before they go to the breakout area? Hmm. AP, we're gonna get one in, all right. 
Hi, AP Stedham, AP and Kelly, as we see it, syndicated radio. What do you think is the main thing you have to do on defense to stop San Diego State, the two players? Andre first, then Jordan. I would say guard the ball one on one, and then also being able to, you know, guard the, guard the ball screens and the way that they're going to be ducking in our bigs, making sure that we can, you know, we cut off those drives and not let them get uh, points at the rim. Also, keeping them off the offensive glass and defensive rebound the ball. Jordan. Oh, yeah, what Andre said, being gaps, helping your teammates. Um, just defensive rebounding is going to be the biggest thing for us. So. We want to thank Andre and Jordan for joining us here in the main interview room. They're going to take a little bit of a break. Then they'll be in the breakout areas from 210 to 240, and the UConn locker room will open for other student athletes from 210 to 240 as well. Thanks, fellas, and good luck tomorrow night. We're going to go to Fanta, Zagoria, Dana, 40, and then we're going across the aisle. Dan, John Fanta, Fox Sports. Um, th the perception on the outside looking at this championship game is UConn's rolled winning their five NCAA tournament games by a combined 103 points. They're the front runner. How do you keep your team focused? And, and what do you make of, of that viewpoint that, that you guys are the heavy favorite in this title game? Yeah, I mean, the, the heavy favorites haven't fared very well in this one. So I don't, I don't really, we're just going to try to, uh, you know, ignore that tag. Um, I just think it helps us a lot, just what we went through in January. You know, we know that, Again, if we get away from our identity for a tick, um, you know, we become very vulnerable. Um, we obviously, w w with the experience and the physicality and the, and the age and, you know, just how well coached the San Diego State team is and the teams they've beaten to get here, um, you know, we, we expect a much different type of game, much more of a, much more of a fight. Follow. Quick follow. Uh, Andrew said the other day that, that you had given painting a crack. Mm. You said in January that this was something you're going to take up. Yeah. How, how has that gone? Yeah, I, I'm, on, I'm almost finished with my second piece uh, of, 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 of artwork for Kamani because uh, he's very jealous of what I was able to, what I gave Luke. I don't know if you've seen that, but it's a, it's a, uh, it's a New York City skyline in winter <laughs> for Kamani. He's from Queens, so... Not great. <laughs> embarrassed. <laughs> I can just embarrass to give it to him. It's actually done. I just don't, I don't have the nerve to give it to him. It's so bad. Adam. Dan, I guess your father was telling a story that he brought you to the 1990 Final Four in Denver, <laughs> and you guys did some demos for strength shoes. Strength shoes. Um, what are your recollections of that? And... Uh, could you have ever have imagined at that point you'd be coaching in a Final Four? Yeah, I, I mean, I remember, I remember nonstop demonstrations for what felt like 48 hours um, in those platform shoes, which yeah, was probably not great when you're 15 years old, you know. Uh, I remember, um, you know, just the excitement uh, in that Final Four too, Georgia Tech, was in that with UNLV, um, so like, you know, that, that like Kenny Anderson, Georgia Tech team was there, and then obviously, you know, Bob, um, Bob playing that UNLV game and kind of the, you know, how heartbreaking that was for him in, in the championship game, as unbelievable as the season was. So, uh, you know, and then, and then obviously much better memories of, of Indy the following year when they beat UNLV. Do you want a sports network that delivers everything that matters about the game? The highlights, the picks, the instant analysis, no yelling, no fake debates, no politics. Hit the subscribe button and never miss a moment.